what you love the most when we give out of that that's when we reach that high level of righteousness peak this is the quran chapter 3 verse 92 وَمَا تُنْفِقُوا مِنْ شَيْءٍ فَإِنَّ اللَّهُ بِهِ عَلِيمٌ And whatever you give, anything you give, Allah is well aware, full knowledge of it. See? So this verse, there's a famous lesson about this. Uh, lesson. I don't like to say story, because when you hear story, you will think it's fake. Lesson. Hazrat Abu Talha. Radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Very well-known sahaba. Very wealthy sahaba. One of the wealthiest sahaba in his time. Wealthy man. He had a lot of gardens. Because you know gardens, how people would have sheep and camel as their wealth. People used to have gardens, gardens, because gardens produce dates and produce different things that would produce and bring wealth, property, land. So he went to the Prophet ﷺ and he said, when this verse was revealed, and the Prophet sallallahu read this verse out for the Sahabas. He said, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa if Allah is saying that righteousness is when you give out of what you love, then I have many gardens. I have what? Many gardens. But there's one garden that I love the most. There's one garden that I love the most. Uh, and some people you will see it's written Birha. Bayruha is the name of the garden. Some people you will see it written Birha. Some places they write that. But in the hadith it's mentioned Bayruha. He says, I have this garden that I love the most of all the gardens. And I want to give this Fisabilla in the part of Allah. See the love that these Sahabas had? Huh? What we you will face in nowadays time? A brother will come to see you and say, Brother, well, I have a lot of things, eh, but this I don't use. I don't use it. I don't like it. It's in the garage for a couple of years now. You know what? Take this and use it. for Allah. That's not what he said. He said out of all his gardens, and gardens are income, money, wealth. He said, I love this the most. I give it to you for the part of Allah. That was the level of their Iman, and that is how they understood the Quran. It wasn't just about the throat. The Quran up to the throat, the halaq. No, 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 no. It was in the amal. And that's when you test Iman, when you could really give what we love and what is valuable to us. So much gear by. Go check it out. Check it out. And there's nothing zarif about this hadith. All the scholars and the fuqaha and muhaddithin tell us about this hadith. Yeah? Very powerful. Anyhow, it continues what the Prophet told him and here and there. But we want to get to the message of it. That was the message of it.